In a little town, there was a bathhouse where old and infirm people went to have baths and massage. And there was a young girl attendant there whom all these old people loved because she was so kind and helpful to them. Well, one day, so many old people came to the bathhouse that it was late at night before the girl had finished her work and could think of going home. And as she was tidying up and putting away the brushes and the sponges and the towels, she heard in the street outside the bathhouse a rattling of wheels and a jingling of harness and a clatter of hooves over the cobbles. She ran to open the door. What did she see? A magnificent golden coach drawn by four black stallions with gold and silver harness and bells on their forehead straps that rang out gaily as they tossed their plume-decked heads. Surely, thought the girl, this must be the wedding coach of some rich lord. But stepping out of the coach, what did she see? A hideous little goblin man with glaring eyes and bandy legs. And after him stepped out three younger goblins, even more ugly. And after the three younger goblins stepped out an old, old woman goblin, hideous and evil. The girl quickly made the sign of the cross over the threshold, ran back into the bathhouse and slammed the door. Go away, go away, go away, she whispered under her breath. But the goblins didn't go away, although they couldn't come over the threshold because of the sign of the cross the girl had made. So the hideous little goblin man called out, Come out here to me, my little daughter. Your bridegroom awaits you. I have chosen you as wife for one of my sons. The girl was very frightened. But she kept her wits about her, and she called back, I am not ready to be married. I have neither clothes nor shoes. Then the goblin man called again and said, Only tell me what clothes you need, my little daughter, and you shall have everything your heart desires. And as the girl stood thinking what next she should say, a little mouse crept up to her and whispered, Listen, listen. Don't be in a hurry. Tell the goblin what clothes you need, but tell him slowly, a garment at a time, for the dawn will come, but not yet. So the girl called out, First of all, I need a silk chemise. Then the old woman goblin said to the three young goblins, My grandchildren, which of you can go the quickest there and back again? And the eldest of the three young goblins said, I can go as swiftly as a wave. And the second said, I can go as swiftly as the wind that drives the wave. And the youngest said, But I, I can go as swiftly as a thought. I am here, I am there, I am back again, all at the same time. Leap then, little grandson, said the old woman goblin. Leap, leap, leap. Your feet are your fortune. It is you who will win a lovely bride. The youngest goblin leapt and vanished. He was here, he was there, he was back again, holding in his claws of hands a silk chemise. The old woman goblin threw the silk chemise in through the window of the bathhouse. Here is your silk chemise, little daughter. Put it on and let us go, for the wedding bells are ringing under the earth and the wedding guests are gathered together. Take your time, take your time. The dawn is yet far off, whispered the little mouse, and the girl put on the silk chemise slowly. Oh, so slowly. Is the silk chemise to your liking, little daughter? Called the old woman goblin. Yes, it is to my... Liking, said the girl, but I am not yet ready. I have no golden gown. Go you quick as thought, 
said the old woman, goblin to the youngest of her grandchildren. Leap, 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 be here, be there, be back again, and bring the bride a golden gown. The youngest goblin leapt and vanished. Then, in the winking of an eye, he was back again, carrying in his claws of hands a golden gown. The old woman goblin tossed the golden gown in through the window of the bathhouse, and the little mouse whispered to the girl, Loiter, loiter, the dawn is not yet. The girl put on the golden gown. Slowly, oh, so slowly. And the goblin grandmother called from outside the house. Is the golden gown to your liking, little daughter? Yes, it is to my... Um, Liking, said the girl. Then come out, little daughter, called the goblin grandmother. For under the earth the wedding feast is spread. But the girl answered, I am not yet ready. I lack an embroidered girdle. Leap quick as thought said the goblin grandmother. Leap, 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 be here, be there, be back again, and bring the bride an embroidered girdle. Quick as thought, leapt and vanished. He was here, he was there, he was back again, carrying in his claws of hands an embroidered girdle. The old woman goblin tossed the embroidered girdle in through the window of the bathhouse. Leisurely, leisurely, whispered the little mouse to the girl. The moon shines dim over the rooftops. But the morning star is still bright. There is no dawn yet. So the girl put on the embroidered girdle. Slow. Oh, so slow. Is the girdle to your liking, little doctor? Called the goblin grandmother from outside the door. Yes, it is to my... Liking, said the girl. But I am not yet ready. My feet are there. I lack a pair of silver slippers. Leap, leap, quick as thought. Leap, leap, leap said the goblin grandmother. Be here, be there, be back again. Bring from down below a pair of silver slippers and win for yourself a lovely bride. Quick as thought, leapt and vanished. He was here, he was there, he was back again, carrying the silver slippers. The old goblin woman tossed the silver slippers in through the window of the bathhouse. Linger, linger, whispered the little mouse to the girl. The dawn comes. Slowly nearer. And the girl put on the silver slippers. Slowly. Oh, so slow. Are the slippers to your liking, little doctor? Yes. They are to my liking. But I am not yet ready. I lack a diamond headdress. The old goblin woman sent quick as thought to fetch a diamond headdress. And when he brought it, she tossed it in through the window of the bathhouse. Little daughter, little daughter, she called. We cannot wait longer. Down under the earth, the wedding candles are burning low. And the wedding guests are muttering and complaining. Is the headdress to your liking? Yes, it is to my liking, said the girl. Then put it on and come out quickly, called the old goblin woman. You will have to go out now, whispered the little mouse to the girl. But look in the coach and find fault, for the dawn is at hand. 